the number of people dying from diabetes is actually thrice that of the number of people dying from smoking. <clears throat> Do you know that the leading cause of lung cancer isn't actually a cigarette? It's in your DNA. Yet if I pull a snicker bar, nobody will say anything. You can smoke and smoke for years and years, and yet nothing will ha ever happen to you. Mr. Congress Chair, my fellow speaking champions, my topic for the day is the power of words. Now these arguments which I used just now, I have made them up just now. Words, when said in an articulated and the right way, can change someone's mind, can alter someone's belief. You have the power to bring someone from the slums of life and make him a successful person or destroy his happiness using all your words. Does that seem a bit too good to be true? There's a slight difference in people accepting your words and denying it. It's only the way, the word that you use. I have a nephew who is four. And he has, he had this bad habit of writing on the walls with crayons and drawing. One day I walk into his room and he is drawing and writing on the wall. And I said, hey, 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 are you stupid? Don't you ever do that again. And guess what? He did it again. Because nobody likes to be threatened. Nobody likes to be intimidated. His pride will not allow it. A week later, I walked again into his room and he was again going on and doing it and this time he was even looking at me. I sat down and I said, Sweetie, come here. Don't do that. You are a big boy now. And he never did it again because his pride wanted him to be a big boy. Have you ever ruminated why nobody cares about global warming? <clears throat> Even though it's a very serious issue. <clears throat> have you ever thought why no, no one cares? Shut up. Anyone have any idea? Close but no cigar. <laughs> it's because when you go back to your homes and you switch on your TV, you see a scientist talking to you about global warming. It goes something like this. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the CO graph. The water level is rising. The carbon monoxide level is reaching alarming levels. The message never gets across. Yet, if you are a person who is a role model, who is admired by people, anything you say will be taken as the truth. Anything you utter will be believed. I had a friend, Ashish. He loved his father. He idolized his father. He would do anything in the world to make him happy. Yet his father was that kind of person who was not easy to please. Ashish would try year and year after that. And yet his father was like, yeah. First year in college, Ashish got straight A's and he said to himself, this is it. This will finally make my father proud. He picked up the phone and called his dad. Dad, I got straight A's. Are you proud? Please tell me, father, you're proud. Yeah, listen, sir, I'm busy. I have to call you back. I'm busy. This was a single sentence that broke the camel's back. And he started drinking, doing drugs, hanging out with the wrong crowd. Ashish, why? Why are you throwing your life away like this? If the one person that I care about the most doesn't care, then why should I? And one evening, I got a phone call. Ashish in the emergency room, drug overdose case. I rushed to the hospital and I saw him lying on the emergency bed. I saw the machine doing beep, beep, beep. And 
and I saw the doctors trying to bring him back to life. Clear! Clear! It was clear that a single word could have saved this life. Words, ladies and gentlemen, lady and gentlemen, have power. Words are power. Words could be your power. You can change your life, you can inspire a nation, or you can make this entire world a very beautiful place to live. Isn't that what we all wanted? Isn't that what we all dreamt for? Your mouth can spit venom, or it can mend a broken soul. Ladies and gentlemen, again, ladies and gentlemen, let that be our goal. Mr. Conti Chair. Yeah. Very nice.